Greetings, Miss Melinda here to provide us with the new moon reading for our new moon in Libra happening Wednesday, October 6th at 5.05 a.m. United States Central Standard Time. I am using the Morgan Greer deck today and we are seeking the guidance and the messages that will most help us in successfully traversing the new moon energies this October 2021. I'm going to pull three to four cards. The first card is our theme for this new moon's guidance. What is our theme for this new moon's guidance? I am seeing a card coming out. It is the judgment card. Really strong and clear message. Judgment is about rebirth. The energy of rebirth will definitely be surrounding this new moon strongly. Now, in order for us to best take advantage of this energy of rebirth, it is advisable to take an objective look about what it is we have learned in the recent past and how we can apply that knowledge, that experience to being an active co-creator of our reality in the near future. What is it that you have learned? What are, what are the very significant um, pieces of knowledge or lessons or growth that you have learned or gone through in the recent past? And how can you actively, consciously use that information, that lived experience to inform how you will co-create your reality in the near future not create but co-create right so that's our theme let's see what our other cards show us because the next two or three cards are going to show us where we can apply this theme in our lives or where we can apply this guidance in our lives perhaps it will show us the exact areas of our lives or perhaps it will show us how to apply the guidance so we're looking for two or three additional cards to round out this guidance and give us more nuance. I'm seeing the six of cups. I'm seeing the five of wands, <clears throat> excuse me. And I am going to pull one more card to assist us with rounding out this new moon guidance for October, 2021. And it is the king of swords. So we're seeing the six of cups. The Five of Wands and the King of Swords. And these cards together are showing us that it's going to be important to use our logical, analytical minds, our quick thinking, and our strength in problem solving in order to traverse relationships. It looks to me like there are some relationships that are going to need to be adjusted. And it looks to me like it's going to be a good new moon to take a look around and determine if there are people in your life that are not supportive of you. If you're feeling a lot of pushback from people in your life in regard to the goals you want to accomplish or how you want to live your life, or simply who you are and what your lived experience is, what your perspective is, what your truth is, your authentic truth. If you're getting pushback about those things or people simply are not supportive of you, in fact, they could be actively unsupportive, right? They could be discouraging you. They could be putting you down. They could be even passively aggressively making you feel bad about who you are and what you want or what you need or even actively um, not validating your feelings or your lived experience. So if around this new moon you find this going on, it's up to you to take some time to clear your mind because the guidance is going to be coming to you very quickly. You're going to be getting a lot of um, intuition about these people or about these relationships or these um, circumstances. And it will be easier for you to receive and understand this guidance if you have a clear mind. So focus on that going into this new moon, going into this month. And then when you receive those flashes of intuition, 
it's time for you to act on it, to evaluate these relationships. And the guidance here is to actively turn your back on the people who are not being supportive and instead very consciously focus on relationships or people or circumstances or groups even communities, it might even be a good time to join a community or join a support group, something of this nature. Join a group of like-minded people who are supportive of what it is you want to accomplish or supportive of you telling your story, supportive of validating your feelings and your experience, right? Because the guidance is to actively put energy into those kinds of circumstances, those kinds of relationships, those kinds of people this month and to very actively turn your back on those that are not. Now, let's talk for two seconds about turning our back on circumstances that are not supportive to us. We must all find a way to do that that is comfortable for us and makes sense to us. It doesn't necessarily mean that we have to cut people out of our lives. Sometimes we're not even able to cut people out of our lives, but what it means is that we stop giving attention to that. We stop giving so much energy to those people. We stop letting them affect us in the same way. We put up new boundaries. And the thing is when we want to cut something out of our lives, even if we're not cutting the people out, even if we're just cutting out the effect that they have on us, Anytime we want to cut something out of our lives, it's never helpful to just remove something. You always have to add something positive to fill, to fill that space. So what the guidance here is saying is to add that support, to add those um, supportive relationships and those circumstances that really validate you and really assist you with um, what it is that you need, what it is you need to express, or accomplish or to create, right? So that's all about the Six of Cups energy. I'm tuning into that big time, but this is some beautiful, beautiful guidance for our new moon in Libra this month, October 2021. And I wanted to mention to you that these new moon readings are sponsored by my patrons, my members of Patreon. They are members of my Mystic Membership community and they receive these readings one week in advance. So if you'd like more information on that, you can click the link below the video to check that out. Don't forget to like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much. Be blessed. Be well.